Great. Well, this section we're going to cover how to add pieces to a job uh, in MaxCut. Um, I've just opened up MaxCut. I'm um, in the default with uh, a blank, a blank uh, input, but I'm going to make a new job. Uh, my defaults have come through, white melamine, 2750 by 1830, and it's got no grain, and edged in white PVC. Now, if you look on the toolbar at the top here, you'll see I have a few buttons that are available. First of all, I'm on the input tab, and there's a new open and save. Now, that's for making uh, new jobs and opening jobs and saving jobs. But then also have an add, edit, and remove button, as well as an optimize button. Now, the add, edit, and remove buttons relate to adding pieces to your current job. So I'm going to quite simply click the add button and an input form uh, pops up. And I'm going to put in my first piece, which is going to be a side left. Now, I can use the tab button to tab down, or I can just press enter, and it will just tab down to the next field. I'm going to add a one meter by one meter piece, just one of them, no edging. And you'll see now that piece has been added to my list. Now. I'm going to add another piece just to show you how those settings and the options work. Uh, and I'm going to make it called test piece. And I'm going to make it an invalid size. Now this is just the name, so we can recognize it. I'm going to make that piece uh, 80 mils by a meter. Now, if you remember, under options, we had set our minimum piece size to be 100 mils. And so once I've added this piece, it's already picked up that it's an invalid piece, and it's highlighted in red. If I go and I change that piece to a meter, and I tab off it or update it, that piece already, the red goes away, and it goes back to its normal color, which means it's valid. I'm just going to show you that again. If I go to 80, it's going to go red. If I go to 100 mils, which is a valid size, it's go back to the normal color. Even if I make it 99 mils, it should go red, which is working correctly. Now, one other function with the invalid sizes would be if the piece was larger than the entire sheet size. For instance, if in this job my uh, sheet length and width is 2750 by 1830. So the maximum size piece that I could put in is a 2750 by 1830 piece. If I went 2750 by 1831, that piece will not fit into the board. It's impossible to cut. So it's going to highlight it in red. Also affecting this would be my sheet grain settings, whether it has a grain or not. Obviously, in this scenario, I could do an 1830 by 1830 size piece, which is valid. If I did an 1830 by 2760, oh, let's just type it in right, 2760, it would mark it red. Now, an 1830 by 2750 piece in this scenario is valid because the optimizer will just rotate that piece and fit in because there's no sheet grain. But if I change the sheet grain to yes, it's going to mark that piece as invalid because now the length, the width, cannot fit with a grain on that sheet size. So just be aware of that. Um, some other features, I'm using the keyboard to edit these pieces. Double clicking on a piece will open that window. Also, if I clicked on the edit button there, it's going to open that window. I can also click on the remove button, which is going to remove the piece, or I can press the delete button on the keyboard. I'm going to add another piece, and I'm going to show you a one meter by one meter. And this is quite a cool little function. Using copy and paste, I'm just going to copy that piece, and I'm going to paste it a few times. I can use them standard key fold, keyboard um, shortcuts, Control C and Control V. Control C would be to copy, and Control V would be to paste. And select all of those, and copy them and paste them. 
and it's going to put them all together. Now I can also, if I want, copy these pieces and paste them into an external program. Uh, one that might be useful would be Excel. I'm just going to open up an Excel document. Let me minimize that and make a new uh, a new Excel worksheet. And we're just going to open up that. And we're just waiting for it to come in. And we should see that Excel worksheet. And if I paste into Excel, I can paste from MaxCut, copy it, and I'll just go paste. I would have pasted it into Excel. Another option I could do then is I could uh, edit it in Excel. 160, 160, and use some of the useful features in Excel to um, change my input data quite easily. And then I just copy that and open up MaxCut. And if I paste it, it's going to paste those pieces from Excel straight into MaxCut uh, with the new sizes. So I'm going to delete those and put that through. You'll learn as you play around with the program that there are several ways to input pieces. We can also link MaxCut to several uh, CAD systems or manufacturing systems to um, optimize uh, preset jobs. But um, this covers the basic entering of new pieces into an existing job.